Hey, my name's Charlie Simpson, and I play guitar and I sing in the band Fight Style. I remember wanting to be in a band from the age of about seven. My parents got me a small Spanish guitar. My, my brother at the time was started listening to bands like Guns N' Roses and Metallica, and I remember hearing him play those records through the bedroom wall and thinking, oh, that sounds awesome. And I don't remember wanting to be anything else from that point on. So I guess, yeah, from about seven years old, I always wanted to be in a band. There were times where I thought, am I ever going to be able to do that? Because it seemed so hard to crack into the music industry. It seemed almost like, you know, how do you do it? You sit, I remember lying awake at night at school thinking, how am I going to do it? But I almost think today, if I was that same kid, I would be much more excited about that prospect because it would seem much more achievable because you can do it by yourself. Bands these days can make their own luck. Whereas, you know, you had to, 10 years ago, you had to be in the right bar and have the right a &R guy coming to watch you. And there was a lot of luck involved. And you couldn't control that. Whereas now I think you can control some of the luck that comes your way by just going out and grabbing it. And I think the bands that really, really give themselves the best chance, the ones that are hungry for it, and will just stop at nothing, they'll get in a van, they'll just tour the country, and they'll just go and they'll play in front of as many people as they can. And they build a fan base. And then a record company says, well, hang on a minute, these guys are selling out 500 capacity venues without any input from anyone else. Let's sign them. And they've done that by themselves. It's not as if they were given um, you know, a leg up or they were you know, in the right place at the right time. They, they just they, they went out and they did it. And I think now, today, that's an exciting prospect because you have the world at your fingertips. People ask me, is it harder now than it was 10 years ago to be in a band? And it's, it's a real double-edged sword to that because on one hand, you have ability to reach a far wider audience without needing a record company. So you really can do it DIY and make a real success of it. You know, you look at bands like Enter Shikari, who really chose a different route to, to, to go down and do it all themselves. And I think that showed that it can be done. But on the flip side of it, it is harder because with, with record sales so much in decline, there's a massive loss of revenue. So 20 years ago, no one really worried about it because everyone was making so much money um, in the industry because record sales were so high. And a band, you know, an alternative band could get signed and make a really good living. I think that would be very hard in this day and age. You are making money from touring, but that's got to go into then, say, making a record or the whole thing to make it sustainable incomes from all different streams of what you're doing have to go into sustaining the band um, so it has made it difficult I think it's, it's made it difficult for the sort of middle tier band I think people that are playing arenas all around the world won't notice it so much I think bands starting out won't notice it because they'll be getting their music out to more people it's that sort of middle tier I think that suffer that suffer, that suffer the most Basically, Five Star got to the point where we wanted to not have to um, worry about living off it full time. And so we now sort of have agreed to come together, do some touring, make a record, put it out ourselves, and then you know we'll go back to doing other stuff. I've got projects that I'm doing, Dan and Al have a production company that they run, Omar has his own business. So you know, I think that in, in that way it can be very, you know, very sustainable and I think we, you know, and it also means that we have that excitement coming back so every two, three years, making a record, going on tour, but I think, you know, to make it, to make it um, fully sustainable for four guys in a rock band in this day and age is tough, you know, it's really tough and I think, especially when you start having a family and there are lots of other things that are depending on you, then um, 
you know, I mean, I mean, bands do it. And I think the other, the, well, the other option is that you're just on tour the entire time, and I think that's what forces some bands to literally go out on tour and not come back for two years. And I think that's tough. I mean, you know, that takes a toll on family uh, life and stuff. So I think it's really just you know weighing up what what the priorities are and and just making it work as best you can. I mean, I find it uncomfortable talking to people about the music industry and talking about what's wrong with it because I hate the fact that people think, oh, you're just a whiny musician. And I, I don't mean to come across like that at all because I am so fortunate that I get to go on a stage like this tonight and play in front of a fan base. It's, it's I could, I mean, I would pay money to do that. It's not as if I would, you know, it's not about the money um, because, you know, we, we, we're doing it for the love of doing it. To be able to go out and tour and have a fan base that it buys your records and supports you is an incredible feeling. And, and I would tell a kid today, if they wanted to get into the music industry, then go and do it because that feeling of creating music and going out and sharing it with, with the world is the most unbelievable thing you can ever do. The moments that I get, the moments that I get when I'm like, I just, I have to pinch myself to think, is this real? Is every night I walk out on stage and I look out and I think, these guys have bought a ticket to come and see us play music. And I was in that crowd 15 years ago. I, I went to the shows, I went to the festivals. I was one of those kids looking up at the stage and thinking, that's my dream, like that's what I want to do. She said,